Hey everyone, I've got some super exciting news to share. Pokemon Legends ZA is now fully playable on Android phones. Yep, you heard that right, and the best part, it's really easy to set up. So stick around and watch this video because I'll walk you through every step. Before we get started, just a quick reminder, please make sure you own the official copy of Pokemon Legends ZA, whether it's physical or digital. We want to support the developers who made the game, and of course, we don't want Nintendo knocking on our doors with a lawsuit. So make sure you've legally purchased the game before using it on an emulator. Alright, let's get into it. First, open your web browser and search for Eden Emulator. The first result should be the official website, go ahead and click on that. Once you're on the page, tap the download button and choose the Android version. Scroll down a little until you find the Android standard download. Click that to get the latest APK file. Once the file is downloaded, install it on your phone. I'll skip showing the installation part because it's super simple and I already have it installed on my phone. Before we set things up, there are a few files you'll need on your phone. These include the product keys and firmware files from a Nintendo Switch, and of course, the game file for Pokemon Legends ZA, which should be in XCI or NSP format. You can get all these from your modded Switch if you already own the game. If you're not sure how to mod your Switch or get the files, don't worry. Just scan the QR code shown on screen using your phone, and it'll take you to a guide that explains everything step by step. Let's start with the setup of Eden, start with enabling notifications. Next, install the product keys. These are very essential for the emulator to recognize and decrypt your games properly. Once that is done, move on to installing the firmware file, which is required to boot the emulator and play the latest Switch games. After that, set up your game directory so Eden knows exactly where your game files are stored. The emulator supports both XCI and NSP formats, allowing you to play most Nintendo Switch games with ease. Once everything is set up, you'll land on the home screen where all your games will appear ready to launch and play. Now let's move to the settings menu to optimize performance. Open advanced settings then go to system settings, turn limit speed off. This allows your smartphone to use its full processing power for better performance. You don't need to tweak much else here so go back to advanced settings and open graphics settings. Set accuracy level to normal, and for resolution choose balance 0.75x. This setting is ideal for most devices, if you're on a low end phone you can lower it to 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Turn on force maximum clocks if you're using an Adreno GPU and enable asynchronous shaders. Set vSync mode to mailbox and scroll down to change the aspect ratio to stretch to window for a full screen view. A new option here is the input overlay settings, which automatically hides the on-screen touch controls when they're not in use. You can set the delay time according to your preference. After that, head into Eden's Veil settings where you'll find some advanced tweaks. Set extended dynamic state to 1 or 2 depending on how powerful your device is, and scroll down to change VRM usage mode to aggressive. These adjustments help improve stability and make gameplay smoother, especially during demanding scenes. Now go back to the main settings page and check out the GPU driver setup. Eden supports custom GPU drivers, but this feature is only for Snapdragon users. Tap on Fetch Options, then select Recommended Drivers. You'll see several names like Mr. Purple Turnip, GameHub Adreno, and Kimchi Turnip. The emulator will recommend one based on your device. For example, mine suggests Mr. Purple Turnip T22, so I'll go ahead and install that. Once installed, select it and you're done. However, if you're using Snapdragon 8 Elite or an unsupported processor, it's better to stick with the system driver for now, as custom drivers may not work properly yet. Now for a quick disclaimer, I can't show any gameplay of Pokemon Legends ZA in this video. Nintendo is super strict about Switch emulation and showing gameplay could get my channel into trouble or even banned. I hope you understand, but don't worry, if you follow all the steps in this video you'll be able to play the game just fine on your phone. If this guide helped you, please give the video a like, tap the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot and lets me keep making more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.